where we live in Humboldt. Humboldt, located along the Redwood Coast in Northern California, is one of the most beautiful regions in the West. From our giant redwoods, our wide open beaches, our state and national parks, and our world class fishery. So hang with me, and I'll show you why my family and I live in Humboldt. Man, love it here. We're headed out to Mattole Beach, a little over 50 miles south of Eureka. If you drive through the Victorian town of Ferndale and pass through the little town of Petrolia as well. We're gonna go see if we can maybe spot a couple zebras and find a truck in the tree. So I got my partner with me. He's ready. I'm ready. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you out there. I'm not seeing them out at the moment. Wow, what a beautiful day. This reminds me of back where I grew up in the San Joaquin Valley. I mean, they may be laying back into the shadows, but I'm not seeing them out here today. Come out here with my little nephews and check them out. It's like, uh, you know, zoo, but not a zoo. I mean, how many people do you know have zebras? Of course, they could be back in there as well. Anyway, that's where they have been anyways. I'll add some pictures of them. You know, who knows? Maybe they moved them or something. I don't know. All right, let's move on. We're headed up through Petrolia. We're getting into the little town of Petrolia. I'm not gonna stop, I'm just gonna drive through. There's the post office. keep on going here I don't really like video in folks' homes or and, you know people I don't like it either just leave that alone but just a little town in here keep it going this is the Matol River right here down below us here on this side there. And this is a toll road, so if you keep going up this way, it's it'll take, well, there's honeydew, it says 14 miles, and then it comes out on 101, but we're headed out to the outlet. The walk to Matoll Beach, it's beautiful out there. Wide open. Less travel. Love it. 
Well, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I'm at because I want to be respectful of the property owners, but that is a truck in a tree. A little while back, I won photo of the week on uh, the local news TV station. And one of the comments was that I photoshopped that truck into my picture. I didn't. Look at it. I saw it recently posted, I think it was Facebook. And uh, one of the comments on there was that it was an AI generated picture. And I can tell you, it ain't. So let me dispel any rumors or myths. That's as real as it gets. Look, <laughs> it's got a surfboard in the back. You can see the cables. So, probably two homies pulled the engine and the transmission out and was like, well, what are we gonna do with this thing, man? I'll tell you what, I got cables in the back, go get the loader. We're gonna put that truck in that tree. One afternoon later, there it is. I love it. <laughs> it's a, at the Ford 150 Custom. So, the arts community in Humboldt will compete with anyone, that's what I'm saying. All right, we're gonna keep going. There you go. <laughs> I love it. All right. Just wanted to stop real quick. I gotta use the forest facilities real quick, but this is the Matoll River. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to go uh, water that tree, as it were. Yeah, this road's falling into the river. Well, it comes around this bend right here. One of my best friends has a drift boat. And we came out here, you park way up and then you float it and we fish for salmon and you come down here and drift this whole thing, come up underneath the bridge. We came out over there, but uh, it's good fishing when the salmon are running. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to keep going. Get up to the outlet. overlook let me get out for a second man it is a beautiful day there's the outlet right there Looks a little breezy out there. It's a layer of fog coming in. I think we hit it at the right time though. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna keep going. The, uh, the outlet's right here. That's it, find somewhere to park. Lay you down, buddy. Come on. 
We're gonna be good citizens because there's people here camping and whatnot. All right, bud, you ready? It's the campgrounds. Quite a bit of folks here. Yeah, look at that. Bears, man. Yes, sir. Here's where we're at. Right there. Shelter Cove all the way down here. Yeah, we're out here a ways. All right, bud. He needs to go do his thing here. We're gonna go out this way. The uh, It's dry camping. I don't wanna film the campers, I'll leave them alone. We're just gonna walk over the berms. I can hear the ocean right over this, right over these tombs, so. You ready to go, bud? that bud the sands on this beach when we pass black sands beach on the way through here and the sands really dark but so is this black sands beach is really coarse and pebbly this is you know standard issue sand huh buddy yeah campgrounds right behind us there's somebody laying over there you got these things up and through here boy it's really kind of blowing the wind coming in offshore up there from the northeast hey don't run off bud hey this guy yeah buddy what are you doing you need a haircut huh he ain't that big of a dog, he's just packing some extra fluff. When his feet get wet, you can see how skinny he is, huh, bud? Is that suitable? Nope. Ain't nobody peed on that one, huh? Yeah, I'm coming. I don't know who's leading who around here. I guess he's leading the way. Wow, you can really see the color of the water. It's kind of green, then it goes aqua. The water reflects the color from the skies for the most part. If you find a dip, that's okay, yeah, he's gonna. You gonna hit that spot? Yes, he did. But you can see the difference of the color of the water out here. It's another spot to... When the gray whales are migrating, you can come out here and... They come up pretty close to the 
shore. Of course, they do out in Stone Lagoon and then up along Trinidad and all of that. Get your whale watching on. Hey, man, we're sitting here. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna peel out too, huh? You feel better? What's up? What's up? It's wind in your face. This guy loves the beach. Yeah, huh? You wanna go running, huh? <laughs> Man, I could spend all day out here just chilling. You ready? You look like you look like an Ewok, huh? You got a haircut? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, okay, we'll do it, bud. Yeah, you good boy. Oh. Wow, man, Matoll Beach. We love it, huh? Come on, buddy. It's beautiful out here. It's a little bit of a drive. Just go up through Ferndale and come up through Petrolia. Not a lot of people out here, usually. It's a cool place to camp on the beach. Those campgrounds look pretty nice. I didn't want to record it. There's people there. Got to bring your supplies. There's no cell service out here whatsoever. Not with my carrier. I got AT&T, so I'm gonna pay attention to that. But that's cool, huh? Maybe see the zebras along the way if they're out. Look at a truck in a tree if it know where it's at, huh? All right, bud. Ready to go home? It's that time. All right, bud. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Bunch of pelicans flying through. Quite a few of them. Oh, swooping around. Boy, they're flying against the winds too. Just another one of the many reasons we love living in Humboldt so much. Wide open beaches. Toll Beach being one of them. Man, it's beautiful here. All right, you ready, bud? I'm just stalling. Man, I could spend all day, but we got to go home, huh, buddy? Yeah. We don't drink seawater anymore, huh? You good? Yeah. Grab our sea urchins. You done, buddy? Yeah. He's done. I'm done. This is Matoll Beach out at the Matoll River Outlet. It's beautiful here. Thank you for watching. I'm Doc, and we're living Humboldt. Well, good night. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure you subscribe down below so we can grow this channel. My family and I greatly appreciate it. Also, I'm out at Fern Bridge walking the Eel River. I'm looking at the Fern Bridge. Man, what an awesome piece of history. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.